Hey there, everyone. I got in a new bipod today. Let's check it out. I plan to do a more detailed review on this, but I just wanted to give you guys my initial impressions as I am checking it out. So this is, I got this from Amazon. Um, and it's from CB Life. I already did a um, review on one of their uh, slings on it, and I was pretty impressed with it. And I said, you know what, let's, let's check out this bipod. So bipod comes in this bag. Uh, what else to do is to give us this Allen key. Uh, nice. Uh, I promise you guys I will read this <laughs> before, when I do the the uh, full review on it but the nice thing about this is they kept it simple so there's not a whole lot of reading to do because um, like most of you guys I'm pretty slow about getting around to reading the instructions so let's take a look at this bipod so um, the reason why I was interested in this bipod is aside from it being folding okay um, it has this quick detach Thing over here okay so for the way that I shoot my my rifles um, let me show you, let me show you the, the rifle setup over here so if you look over here I normally have a three slot rail over here and I use this as a hand stop right when I grab the rifle that's really a hand stop but really an anchoring point right so I know where my hands are on the gun also if I want to muzzle punch you know it gives me something to grip on so since this is always going to be on my on my AR, I want to make use of this, all right? I want to make use of this, and the great thing about this is it has the uh, the quick the quick attach there, so it makes use of something that I'm already using. Now I have tried other bipods that have had other systems. Um, the thing I kind of like when I when I saw the pictures of uh, of this one is. It, uh, in addition to the the, the, the the quick release feature over here, uh, it also swivels. And, hold on, let me see. Tighten it up. If you tighten this up, you can prevent it from swiveling. If you loosen it up, it will swivel. Okay. And from what I saw, it also. Well, if you loosen this up, there you go. It also it will also can't left and right right and i'll tell you guys why i think that's very useful okay like like i said i've had lots of experience with bipods and what happens is a lot of times when you're like laying prone the ground isn't even right the ground is not even and because of that like you might have like a rock here or whatever and the gun might be sitting on something like this so you want this to be able to to you know in addition to being able to rotate you want to also be able to see it right right now even though this leg is up, this is level, okay? Because this might be a rock or this might be uneven ground. So practically speaking, this is one of the things I have found really useful. Now, these legs also extend, all right? That's the other thing I noticed when I was looking at this. Um, so that's quite a bit of extension, right? If you're shooting off a table, obviously that's too high. But again, picture yourself laying prone on the ground you know, there might be a big hole in the ground over here, right? Um, or you might be on top of a, you know, you have, you might have a hole on this side and a rock on this side. So you might have a situation like that, okay? So this is like practical shooting, um, you know, in, in a realistic type of environment. And, and the next time, when I do the more detailed review, I'll actually uh, do this prone, illustrating how on the ground this, this makes a significant difference, especially when you have the head here that can also put it left and right and you can also turn it because remember like I may want to you know it might because here's the thing the position of the bipod right the best place to position this on the ground might be different from the direction that I want to be shooting it right so this allows me to place this like this and rotate this like this so that the, the rifle's pointing in whatever direction I need it to point in okay and also it is collapsible again i'm going off of the information that i saw in the pictures when i bought it that i say wait a second this is something that looks really interesting now you can see, yeah you can pull this down and it locks into place but then you have to push the button to fold it up and pull it down locks into place now you can also bring it back the other way right 
So let's get this on the rifle. Let's see how that works. So again, I'm mounting onto the, the three slot rail that's always on this rifle because that's an anchoring point where I typically grab my, my, my rifle. Now, one of the things I'm just looking at this quick, hold on, they did say that they gave us an Allen key over here. So I, I'm, I'm kind of going through this rough, guys, you know, so this is not pre-planned or anything. Uh, so the way this works is they give you this Allen key to loosen this. Now, one of the things I can see, Nev, is that uh, this, this quick detach is spring-loaded, right? See how you got those springs in there? Okay, and that's really nice. You, you just got to be careful, and, I, and, I, and I've experienced this with, with other similar type of things. You got to be careful not to unscrew this so much that this thing comes apart. Because if this, if this end falls off, those springs are typically going to pop out. They're usually not, not um, um, captured, right? They're usually not captured. So if you unscrew these, the springs are just going to pop out. So just be aware when you, if, when you go to loosen this up, don't loosen it up so much that this thing comes apart from you. Now, if you do happen to lose these springs, uh, usually these things still work. It's just that you don't have the, the benefit of the springing action, which is more of a convenience than anything else. Again, when I do the more detailed review, I'll actually go through the process where I take it apart. Right now, I'm just kind of muddling my way through this for the first time. So um, let's get this on here. It looks like I gotta loosen this up just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. There we go. All right, now it's too loose. Now I'm gonna lighten it, loosen it, tighten it up a little. So to, to tighten it up, I'm just gonna pop this out again, and I'll give this a couple of rotations. Now once you get this in place, it should be, you shouldn't have to mess with any more with the Allen key. Let's see, a little bit more. Okay, great. All right, so now let me tighten this up. This bipod here so it's not rotating on me while we figure this thing out. Okay. Alright, so alright. So this thing like this. This will have a little bit of up down. A little bit of up down. Right, side to side like that. Now you can if you don't want the side to side you just rotate this over here. Let's see how that works. Yeah, you can leave, actually lock it in the place. Like I can lock it to the side here. So if I was like on a rock or something, I needed to lock it there. I can lock it there. Let's center it up right now. Tighten it up. Let me give this a little bit of pressure. So, I mean, it's got, because remember, if, if you're laying prone, you want to put a little bit of pressure forward on the bipod, right? We call it loading up the bipod. And that looks like it will take a, you know, a, a, a decent amount of pressure. I don't know how much pressure, but it'll take a decent amount of pressure. So I'm gonna extend this. Extend that that way. Extend that that way. Okay, so obviously this is too high for cable shooting. But again, this could be a hole in the ground over here. Let's collapse that. That's that. So let's see if I wanted to fold this up. Fold this up. Okay, so this is, yeah, we can tighten it up from here. All right. So you can just pull it down and it locks into place. Pull that down, that locks into place. If you want, you can fold it back. I don't know why you would want to do that, but or whatever, because let's say you put it in the other way around. Like, they, like let's say, like I have the quick release on this side, but let's say you had, you, you decided to do it with the quick release on the other side, right? Then you would want to, so you want the option to be able to go all the way like this, and all the way like this, 
in case you want to flip this around because like i said right now the quick release is on this side but let's let's do the quick release let's take this off okay. Oh, okay, hold on. Looks like I gotta apply it. Well, actually, you can actually just apply your not not yeah, apply the Allen key. So the key is I want to find just the right tension so that I don't need to use the. There we go. I don't want to. I don't. I need to not need to use the tool to get it off. This way, I can use the quick attach. Okay, there you go. So I don't really stud. Okay. So see if I if I have the quick release on the left side, then yeah, I need this to go forward that way. Okay. But if I decide that I want the quick release on the other side, right? That, that's what that's why I need these to be able to fold all the way back and forth because your preference for what side the quick release is on might be different from my preference of what side the quick release should be on. Okay, that's in place. That's in place. Right, so right now I got this canted a little bit that way. Let's loosen this up. Just like this. All right, let's take a couple shots. Do a little bit of shooting. Make sure you got guys in the camera. Right there. No, I'm gonna shoot it as lefty. Uh, got a little bit more rotation. There you go. I'm gonna shoot this lefty so you guys can see a little bit better. Overall, I mean, again, it's just initial impressions, but it's definitely um, giving me what I wanted, right? Which is basically a quick attach, detach. With some flexibility in the swivel. Actually, a lot more than, again, a lot more than I even expected. I'm getting a lot, you know, side to side. Tighten it up. So this thing is forty-five dollars. So for the forty-five dollars, I keep remembering. I got so many bipods, I forget which way they got to You got to push the buttons. But for forty-five dollars, um, initial impressions are good. And, and to take it down, you just pull it down, and it locks over here. This is where you gotta release it. You know, you gotta hit the button to, to bring it up. It's slightly off to this side. I gotta tighten this, loosen this up. Oh wow, it's like almost like a, a gun turning itself. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna work with this, uh, do a lot more practice with it, and then I'll do a, a more detailed follow up review. Let you guys know what I think. Hope you guys enjoyed this initial review. Talk to y'all soon.